de la gauche maintenant, le Typhoon qui nous arrive. Crushing 9G and points back after the crowd, converting its energy into a large power roll. It accelerates across you, rapidly rolling away with the double corkscrew. Repositioning to point directly at crowd centre, Turbo pulls full back stick into the on crowd loop, giving us a great platform view of the underside of the aircraft and its new paint scheme. Se pose et loin de la foule en tirant encore un constant 9G. Aidé par sa combinaison anti-G et sa respiration sous pression, il peut contrer les effets en utilisant des notes de résistance au G. Cela toutefois n'évite pas le fait que son corps fasse neuf fois la normale, rendant turbo aussi lourd qu'une voiture de Formule 1. Turbo breaks the graceful facade and using reheat accelerates to 500 miles an hour away from the crowd. As he turns back towards us at another punishing 9G, he leaps and rolls to expertly capture the speed at just 110 knots, transitioning from high energy and high performance to now appear to be barely moving in front of you. A great chance for him to seat in the crowd, so please give him a wave as he turns away.
l'attention et montre instantanément dans une route accélérant étonnamment même à la verticale. Et il continue à la Conducting a 278 on roll, Turbo throws off the top side of Slay Jet before pushing a sustained negative 3G away from the crowd, which is up to the skies, maintaining brutal negative G throughout. At the top of the bush, he rolls before turning the negative G back into positive G and hurtles back towards the crowd. a grueling max rate turn that sustains 9G. Turbo breaks hard into the barrel of this manoeuvre as he gets the set up to the finish of the display. One last time, the rockets into the sky. See ya! That's not the end of Turbo, that's the finish of the display, but he will be repositioning in a few minutes to come and break back into the circuit to land. But that finishes the...